ain't drunk. I'm just drinking. But you're so high. Oh, man, you know I ain't high. But you're so high. Yeah, well, I just take a little sip every now and then. But you're so high. You ought to be ashamed Stay of yourself. Stay drunk all Oh, come night. on now. You all don't feel like that. Bam! Hey, kids, I am back. Um, it is a wonderful Wednesday, kind of. We're having like 20 mile an hour gusts of wind here in Bumfuck, Ohio, and it's just like, ugh. Anyway, welcome to fall. Um, I did a review, kind of, sort of, on antennas the other day, and I showed my wife for a drone, and a lot of people had made comments on this thing. It's like, what the hell is that? How do you make that? Blah, blah, blah. So I wanted to do a Y4 style overview. We all know quadcopters, right? We all know our, our good old-fashioned four-bladed monsters. Um, and as you guys know, I like building weird shit, as you've seen. So I'm going to show you the three Y4s that I have, okay? So number one, number one is the Y4 drone, okay? This is what we use in the antenna video. Uh, this is actually built, this is a full GPS drone return to home. I got to fix my wiring here. Return to home, altitude hold, GPS hold, waypoint programming, so you can program it to go to Black Hawk's house, shit on his head, come back, um, and all that good stuff. But this is a Y4 full GPS drone with super duper headlights. Bam! Um, this I built out of a Robocat 270 frame. And if you look at this, uh, I got my light strip in the way, so it's kind of hard to see, but uh, I actually... The Hellcat was really easy to build one of these out of because they have bolt-on arms. So I took the two arms off the back, did a little bit of Dremel work, and then I actually used all the existing hardware, see these little standoffs, in between these back here, and, um, and built this Y4, and it actually turned out beautiful. The thing flies like a champ. We'll get back to this in a minute. So that's the Y4 drone. Here's the Y4 quadcopter, okay? Um, this was a rainy, well, I think I all were rainy day bills. If, believe it or not, this is made out of an X210 quadcopter frame. Uh, in my opinion, there are no good uh, Y4 frames on the market. They have these funky dragonfly looking cheap shit that'll break as soon as you crash. And yeah, I've made every frame from scratch. Uh, the, into a Y4 that you see. Uh, this is running, this is a spare parts build, kind of like a poor boy. Um, and we have little B20 amp uh, ESCs, got some just generic motors. These aren't anything fancy. 2204s, uh, running my special tri blades, but this is technically just a quad. Omnibus F3 power distribution board. It's got OSD, 1000 TVL cam. Um, flies like a you know, 600 milliwatt transmitter, flies like a dog on fire. Just for shits and grins, I did put some cool Knight Rider headlights on the front, uh, which I usually don't do, but it was fun. Um, yeah, and my ESCs are tied to the side. This one, the drone, actually has a 4-in-1 ESC, which makes life a little cleaner on the arms, obviously. Then, I think, bam, I think, I might be the only person in the world to have made one of these. <laughs> I think. This is a Y4 brushed. I went through a kick there where I made a bunch of, this is before I really got into the YouTube like I am now, uh, a bunch of Y4, or I'm sorry, I made a bunch of brushed quads. It was really before the micro brushless got huge and popular. Now it's like I've got a bucket of freaking brushed quads and a drawer full of motors and flight controllers that I'm probably never going to use again. Um, but brushed quads are fun. They're neat little bastards for around the house. You can see I broke my prop on the bottom here. Okay, that's supposed to have two props. Um, but this is running, fuck, I can't remember what these are, Racer Star motor, brush motors, 10,000 kV, 25 milliwatt, all-in-one camera. Uh, believe it or not, Omnibus brushed FC. It's missing my receiver, uh, radio receiver, but other than that, this bird is literally flies. One thing I did notice, let's talk about, so those are the three I have. Coming soon, soon as I find the right blend, and mix, I am going to build a brushless Y4. Um, but I've only ever seen one, and I think it's on the Banggood site. Uh, 
and I don't like it. The frame's really big and bulky and heavy, and my frames usually end up lighter than what they started. Uh, take this Y4, for instance. It used to be an X210. If you don't know what an X210 frame is, look it up. It's a very standard race racing quad. Well, freestyle. Uh, 287. That weighs less. That weighs like my Hellbender. If I put good motors on this thing, this thing would chew ass, right? So, yeah. Look at that shit. I mean, anything under 3, three or 320 for this size of bird. This is a 220 size. Um, no, it's a 210, X210. I'm sorry. It's a 210 millimeter motor to motor. Um, anything under 300 is rock and roll, right? So that thing's a bad little bird. Uh, this guy weighs a little bit more. This is a 270, obviously, uh, but also has a lot more guts. I got a spotlight on the bottom, super halogens on the front, uh, the camera. I've got OLED, full size receiver, uh, Bluetooth port so I can plug in and program waypoints, GPS, you know. Um, this is running 2300 motors, 2300 kV, and it flies beautiful. This is what you guys saw when I went in the clouds the other day, and actually it was having a prop problem, and I just reconfigured it, so it should be running a little bit better. Uh, this little guy, actually, the, it flies really fast and really good. Brushed motors, not the best for a Y4. Let me explain that. What you guys are used to seeing, this is a rare bird. You don't, you don't see these very often. Um, and there's a couple reasons for that. The biggest reason I believe people don't like Y4s is because... You, no, the battery's done. You need landing gear. Think about it. If I take a battery, which just so happens I'm going to do some tests for you, my battery on this guy actually put, goes in sideways. I put it in like that. Because, well, I guess I can put it in like that too. I can't remember how I do this. I haven't flown this one in a while. Um, you got to watch this prop back here, kids. Bad things are going to fucking happen. Plus, with this particular bird, it sits on the ground on the motor. So the bad part about that, obviously, I mean, you can see it sits like this, right? Uh, that is precisely why I use these motors, because they have these old school cone nuts on them, which suck. But for this, they're great, because that acts like a spinner on the ground, and it just, and it's only a split second. You know, you arm it, poof, take off, you're done. This one, the drone, is, I put landing gear on. Adjustable. <laughs> um, and if you can see this post right here, it clears that prop by a good margin, but this is a top mount battery. So I just do that and I'm done. I don't use a strap on this. Um, it's a drone. I'm not, it, it does fly in acro as you saw in the video and it has GPS hold and all that stuff, but I don't whip it around and you can actually, it will not come off. Um, but still not the inertia one of these has. So. I usually run on this guy a 4000, uh, a 4S 2700. I made this one, or some good size battery. Or sometimes I run, depending on my mood, I'll run a 3S 5000, which good size batteries, right? But it's a drone. Um, I'm not looking for high speed, so that's what I do with that. Um, but that's the biggest problem I see, because like if you land in grass with this, if you guys just land, you're probably not taking back off unless you really floor it because this thing's going to be embedded in the grass. I think that's the biggest reason people don't play with Y4s a lot. Um, but if you put landing gear on them, but this guy's bigger, this is a 270, so I have a lot more floor space or clearance on the bottom there. Um, but anyway, I digress. So how these work, this is a quadcopter. One, two, three, four. You build this pretty much the same way. Here's how these work. The front two blades are going the same direction a normal quad do. So this guy's going counter, this guy is going clockwise, right? This top rotor in the back, clockwise. The bottom rotor, counterclockwise, like this. So this one's going like that, and that one's going like that, okay? And the prop is not mounted upside down. It is still right side up, okay? Um, so basically, what you've got is a counter rotation with these. So this guy's thrusting down, this guy's thrusting down in opposite directions. Therefore, it can maintain stabilization, like a helicopter in a way, uh, perfectly straight line. And I'm going to do some uh, line of sight videos for you guys so you can see how these work. Uh, but in order to rotate in the y-axis or yaw, actually it's the z-axis, yeah, y-axis, um, one of these is going to slow down 
This one's gonna slow down, this one's gonna speed up, and it's gonna turn like that, and vice versa. And they do have some badass yaw authority kids. I'm gonna show you some line of sight videos. It's are like, woo, very cool. Very, very fucking fast. And I had a question today. I've had so many questions on these Y4s. That's why I'm doing this video. Um, he asked me, does it fly like a helicopter? No, it flies exactly like a fucking quad. Bam, it does. Except it's got more, eh, well, mine do, a little bit more tail whip. So like if I'm coming around a corner, especially this little guy, when I'm coming around a corner and I do a full speed turn, man, that thing's like, like uh, what do they call those fucking race cars that uh, where they glide around the track with the rear ends. Anyway, it's one of those damn things. Um, fucking nuts. The drone, not so much, because I don't have the, the settings opened up to go wide open on, on uh, the authorities. But this guy is set up just like one of my quads, except for the configuration of Y4, and that's a beta flight thing. Um, but they fly like a champ. They really, really do. Uh, this guy, the brushed, it did work, but there's not enough torque in these brushed motors to really give you the best yaw authority. What it does, it flies perfect, believe it or not, and it turns perfect until you really whip it. And when you really whip it and you're rotating and you're, you're yawing over, uh, it has a hard time stopping. Going isn't the issue, but then when you get that inertia going with full throttle and then you try to stop, I notice it kind of slides into home, you know what I mean? Uh, but it actually was a successful little test and the little bastard ran like, there's a video, I'll, I might put a little thing in the corner here if I find it. Uh, it's not real exciting, it's just me flying around the yard, but the little bastard's quick, pretty neat. Um, so that's what a Y4 does. It's counterpart, uh, so it does not fly like a helicopter, it flies like a quad. Its counterpart is a, uh, what do you call those fucking things? A tricopter. I have never built a tricopter in my life. Probably never going to. A tricopter, hang on, has three blades. These have four. These are technically quadcopters, right? Just different configuration. But a tricopter will usually have a, pro, uh, a boom coming back and a motor on a pivot. Okay? So that motor on that pivot goes like this for your yaw authority, and you've got a servo, bigger than this, it's just what I had on hand, you have a servo with a linkage that is doing that hinge, and it's pitching your motor, okay? Couple reasons I don't like those. Now, the nice thing about a tricopter is you get bat longer battery life during three motors versus four, bam. The bad thing about a tricopter is there's a lot of moving linkage. The problem, the great thing about a quadcopter, guys, is there's no moving parts. You got four, and it's just motors. So they're only doing this. You start adding linkages and hinges and servos that are going like this, and you crash like I do, which you all seen me fly, right? Not so good. Um, it's just bad math. Um, and they're very difficult to dial in from what I've read. I've never built one. There might be some people out there watching this like, no, it's fucking easy, man. Yeah, it may be true. But this is, I have crashed the shit out of this thing. And this is homemade, son, look at that. Um, and this one is too. And I, this one has literally dropped from a thousand feet and bounced right back. Um, if I ever build another Y4 drone, which I might, um, I'm buying another RoboCat. And I'm, I'm now RoboCat's like a $35 frame. It's not super cheap. And when you guys look that up, and I'll put a link to the description down in the description of this video. When you look at it, it looks nothing like a RoboCat. RoboCats have these plastic over them and all these things, but they're actually a kick-ass frame for something like this. Um, so yeah, I'll probably never build a tricopter. Too many moving parts. Too much. You have to dial in servo values and beta flight. Eh, I'm not going to fuck around with that. So, I digress. So what we're going to do, um, I'm going to boot up the drone. Not the quad, the drone. And I'm going to put it in GPS hold above my driveway and walk around with my camera and just show you how this thing's flying. Okay. Then after that, and I'm not even going to be holding the transmitter. I'm just going to be holding my phone, videoing it. And then I'm going to put on my cheap-ass hat camera. Where is that fucking thing? <laughs> One of these little turds. And uh, I'm going to do line-of-sight flights and just show you some high-speed authority of what these things do. So stay tuned. Watch this shit. Okay, kids. We're in GPS hold on this Y4 drone. We're having 20-mile-an-hour winds today. So it's kind of hard to do this. Probably gonna hit my new car, that's not good. But you can see the counter rotation in the video. It's going down a little bit. Let me hit the gap. There we go. 
kind of windy, so it's not holding real great. But you get the idea. My controller's right there. There you go. Pretty bad. GPS hold, kids. GPS hold. Drones are cool. All right. All right. There we go. We're going to do some line of sight in angle mode because I'm not as good as E-Quad who can do this shit line of sight. Okay, kids. Hopefully you can see this. Okay. Ah, that's touchy as shit. Check out the yaw authority. It's very windy out. <laughs> 